The cooperative group story of the Rochdale pioneers. Now we will see how the bread was made before the pioneers came to action. In the bread mill, the mill workers were making flour. Unfortunately, some shopkeepers put ground up stones into the flour to make it go further. And just after this person consumes the nasty things that used to be put in bread, such as ground up stones, sand, and then they instantly fell ill. We are the Rochdale Pioneers and we are here to make it clear. We are going to save the day so that you can have a healthy way. We have come from Turling and we are here to stop your pain. Thirteen men got together and made the new rules. They all agreed on them and the Co-op Society began. The Co-op Society grew despite having so little to start with in Rochdale. And because of this a new dawn started. How can I help you? Please may I have one pound of butter, half a pound of flour? Yes, let me just get that for you. Would you like to join the co-op for one pound? What do you benefit from joining? Every six months, all the extra money gets added up and then shared between the members so you can get money back. Make sure you tell me your dividend number every time you come back. If you buy something, I will give you a stamp in your book. Yes, I think I will join. Thank you, bye. And as the members grew, it was decided bigger premises were needed. An example is in Cawthorn. The first co-op in Cawthorn was opened in 1869. I hope you did not steal that treasured butter from the private parlour. As you can see, the co-op sold pure goods. Even the owners of Cannon Hall think it is stolen. No ma'am, I swear, there is a new store named the Cooperative Group and sells pure food. Don't lie to me, put this butter back immediately. The cooperative was run by 13 values, but only seven remain. Here are some of the themes. Self-help, democracy, equality and equity. It is important that the co-op still stands by these values.